Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Inuvis. This is my channel, Inuvis Paracosm. Today I'm going to talk a bit about eGPUs. We'll go over what they are, why someone would want to build one, and how they work. First off, I'd like to say I'm not an expert at this, so if you notice any mistakes, you can leave a comment down below, and I'd be glad to put it in the video as an annotation later. So in case you've never heard of it, as I hadn't until a couple months ago, an eGPU is an external graphics processing unit. It's basically a standard desktop graphics card rigged to an interface with a laptop and usually an external display. Some laptops even allow you to use their internal display. Some of you may be thinking, why would I want to do that? I could build a much more powerful desktop machine than using a laptop to play games on. In my opinion, it comes down to lifestyle, really. I travel a lot. Uh, I don't really like owning a desktop because it's a big thing I can't take with me to the next place I go. Or maybe you're a student who has a laptop, but your dorm is small. You don't have space for a desktop. You might just have a laptop that's compatible, so you want to do it. What do I need to make one of these things? Besides the compatible laptop, you're going to need a desktop graphics card of your choice. I went with the GTX 960. You can find a link for it in the description. You'll need the PCIe adapter board that it plugs into. You'll need a power source for the card. And last but not least, an external display like an LCD TV. So you plug the graphics card into the adapter board, and that gets connected to your laptop through an express card or a mini PCIe connector, which is usually inside the laptop somewhere. It's also possible to use a Thunderbolt port, and this is probably going to be the future of eGPUs. Then you connect your external display to your video card with a DVI cable or whatever you prefer, and finally plug the power source into the adapter board. The power source can either be a DC power adapter or a PC power supply unit. The power adapter is enough if your graphics card needs 220 watts or less, but anything bigger and you'll need the power supply unit. Your video card's website or the manufacturer's website should have more information about how much power the card requires. Optionally, you could finish up your eGPU with a nice custom enclosure to tidy it up and keep it safe from dust and damage. What laptops are compatible? Typically you'll need a Sandy Bridge or newer Intel Series 6 chipset for this. Although the system I've been experimenting with uses an Intel Core 2 Duo, it is a significant bottleneck. The other important thing to look for in a laptop is how it's going to interface with your adapter board. If you have an express card slot, then perfect. But a lot of newer laptops don't have one. Instead, you'll need one or more available mini PCIe slots. Now these are often inside the chassis and not easy to access, so you need to make sure you can get in there. One way to find one is to look for a WLAN card on the underside of the computer. If you're still not sure whether your laptop will work or not, there are forum threads on the internet where you can learn more. Just search for eGPU candidate systems. Definitely do your research before you buy a new laptop. Once you've got all the parts and you've got it assembled, some external GPUs are plug-and-play ready. You'll just need to install the drivers for your video card and off you go. Others require a bit more configuration and optimization. It's really a process of trial and error. There are some online communities that exist for support, namely TechInferno.com's forum. There's an admin there by the name of Nando. He created his own configuration software and he provides support there. To be honest, the software is pretty complex and a little bit intimidating but it's really useful in ironing out compatibility issues and maximizing your performance later. Hopefully my video brought some clarity to those interested in a do-it-yourself project. Hit the like button if you learned something new, and leave a comment below if there's anything else you want to see on this channel, or if you have any questions. Then, continue watching to check out videos of my eGPU that I built so I can play games while I live abroad.